Okay, so as a Minister for Enterprise, Trade and Investment, one of my remits is to try and get filmmakers to look at Northern Ireland as a possible place to come and uh, to make movies and to make series in. And we have been quite successful in that regard, but I'm interested to know what would attract you to come to Belfast or Northern Ireland indeed. There's usually something geographical or cultural that is specific to a place, mm -hmm. in this case Northern Ireland, that mm -hmm. brings the interest of shooting over here. Mm -hmm. And of course it's a bit of a coincidence that it fits in with the scheme of a story that a director like myself would be going to make. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that becomes the real reason to look this way and then everything else falls into place. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing also happens is that you come here and discover a story. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, Northern Ireland and Ireland as such is so full of, um, such full of legends and there mm. are so many legends that we've grown up with in India listening to and you realize later that those are Irish legends mm -hmm. and we've read your authors and storytellers and poets, etc. Mm -hmm. So we already have a certain sense of um, imagination about mm -hmm. Ireland and an interest in it. So something that is um, interesting in cinema mm -hmm. is something that you can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if 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 we fi if uh, if we find something mm -hmm. like that, then <coughs> you start looking at other features mm -hmm. and interests, etc. Well, and, and just when you say that, one of our most famous authors was C.S. Lewis, who wrote the Chronicles of Narnia, right. and he was from Belfast, but Narnia was thought to be the mountains of Morn down in the South Down. So those are right. the sort of things, the stories that you're sort of looking exactly. for when you come to an area like this, I'm sure. And one of the strong points about Northern Ireland as well is that we have so many very historic houses and big stately homes with their big estates as well. Would that be of interest to the Absolutely. Indian market, do you think, Absolutely. as well? Absolutely. And what would be of greatest interest in the little that I've seen, and I mm. intend to see much more in mm. today, of our Northern Ireland, what would be in, uh, of interest is the fact that you're not, uh, I'm sorry to use the word, but ravaged by this yeah. whole um, revolution of cars and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know the 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 bad pa part of um, liberal economy has not spoiled the yeah. natural beauty of this place which is the reason why anybody would come mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So tourism is very important to us in Northern Ireland and we've really been putting a lot of emphasis on trying to attract people to come and of course we have to have that balance between uh, the economy and making right, sure that sure. we have the tourism right. facilities there as well. So that's always a, a challenge right. and a challenge for politicians. But we think that we have some of the most beautiful parts of, right. of the UK. And indeed, the Prime Minister said that very recently, that we had uh, stunning uh, and beautiful landscapes. But we, we would love people from India to see it as well. And so that's right. why we would be really pleased to have some movies shot, yes, in Belfast, but also in the other parts of Northern right. Ireland as well, right. more rural parts the lake lands, the mountainous parts. Right. So there's bits for everything I think you'll find when you're here. There's uh, another very important feature in Belfast mm -hmm. and in Northern Ireland that I'm noticing, which I think is, going, is very attractive for film shooting. Mm -hmm. It is the people. Mm -hmm. Everybody who you meet here is extremely friendly and uh, extremely welcoming. Mm -hmm. And just like us, they would l want to sit in huddles and chat yes. and, and tell stories to each other. Uh -huh. That's where we are coming from as well. Mm -hmm. So there's a certain connect. I've been in Belfast for two days. I've already made friends and everybody has been extremely welcoming to me. Right, and that's the kind of culture that you want to go into to make a movie anyway. Mm -hmm. so, there's, so I think it's going to work out for Indians very well in Ireland. Good. Because for instance, they get everything here that they do not get in India. Yes, like so Rian. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. And, and also because people are friendly and they are oriented towards filmmaking, mm -hmm. it uh, works out very well. Mm -hmm. And well, we would say that uh, people do take time here to find out people's stories and, and to chat about it. And I suppose part of the race uh, when you're very busy, and everybody is very busy nowadays, is to make sure that they don't take the time to find out about their colleagues and their neighbours as to what's going on and all of those sorts of stories. So you're right, I think that's a culture that we have here, uh, which you may not find in other parts of the UK, right. that we take time to have that conversation right. and, and to chat and right. uh, to welcome our visitors. We've certainly been saying to people right across Northern Ireland to have a pride in the place where they live and to talk about it when people come to visit 
Yes. I'm, I'm pleased to hear that that's yeah. happening, so that's very good. Yeah, very happy to be here. Good, and, and we hope that more time you will be uh, making some movies here, and I hope uh, so too. we look forward to that. I hope so too. Thank you. Also, there is the orientation of the government, mm -hmm. which helps filmmaking. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, when we go to shoot, let's say in London, yes. there is a, a subsidy offer, mm -hmm. which is that uh, if you shoot for this much, we pay you back this mm -hmm. much, mm -hmm. depending upon how many people you are employing from us. Yes. Um, even in the Czech Republic, they had uh, some deal or a treaty like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, do you have any plans of getting some sort of subsidy? Well, we very much work with different filmmakers and when HBO mm. expressed an interest in coming to Northern Ireland to uh, film the Game of Thrones, we worked with the company to see what their needs were mm -hmm. and we actually put in place uh, a film studio to make sure that they had the space that they needed okay. down at Titanic Quarter and we did give them some subsidies as well. And we were very pleased recently when the UK government gives some tax incentives in relation to filming. So there's a whole package there. So mm -hmm. any film uh, maker that comes to Northern Ireland, we will want to engage with them at an early stage to understand what their needs are, uh, right down to whether they need licenses for pavements and things like that, right. you know. No. So it's yeah. important that so we understand the needs and then we can work with you to deliver awesome. for you. That's awesome yeah. because I feel that even more than subsidy what really helps is if you can understand the needs yes. of a specific production early on mm -hmm. and have people deal with that. Yes, yes and I think that's very important too and because of our size, the fact that we're not a big jurisdiction, it means that we can be flexible and work with all of the other people who may be involved like the local government or the police or the tourist board and we can bring them all into a room and have that conversation That's awesome. whereas in, in a bigger jurisdiction that may be more difficult. I think intent makes the difference. I think I you think intend right to yes. be, make us comfortable. I think that's right. And uh, I just got to feel, the last time I was in Mumbai, I met with a number of uh, filmmakers and, and stars indeed. And I just felt that when I showed them what we had to offer in Northern Ireland, that they were very, very interested. In, and, and indeed, we've had uh, one film made here already, and we have another one in process at the moment from the Indian film industry. And I feel that we should have a strong relationship, and hopefully we'll be able to grow that.